Hello guys! And welcome to join me in cleaning quite a spectacular home. Wow, I mean look at it! You can't even see the floor here! I'm so excited! <laughs> When I arrived here, I didn't believe the home would look this good. But I was pleasantly surprised and I was just like jumping around for joy because there is so much lovely clutter and trashes. <laughs> and the story of this apartment is just strange. Mm. The smell in here is somewhat pungent, probably due to rotten food maybe, but I can manage with it. And I noticed that all the cabinets are very well organized, bed sheets, spices and dishes neatly arranged, but everything else is disaster. Oh, there's some dust. Nice hello dust! <laughs> Have you been waiting for me? Oh man! Ooh, coming up in this video. I will share the entire story of this resident Grace and the apartment. But before that, I want to say that one of the biggest reasons I'm able to travel the world and clean completely for free are my amazing sponsors. And this video is kindly sponsored by Heyday. Heyday is a free to download game on the App Store and Google Play Store. Heyday is such a lovely way to unwind and escape from your everyday life. The farm sounds are so relaxing and just hearing the calm music brings me right back to the childhood. Here I was bracing myself for the big cleaning task ahead by playing just for a little while. In Heyday you get your own farm and you can design it however you like. You can get all the cute animals, you get to sow crops, you can grow wheat, soybeans, tomatoes, then you can make food for your animals with the produce you grew, with your own hands. How cool is that? You can even play it together as a family, it's really a game for all ages. I was having so much fun that my friend Amos wanted to play as well. This is the farm that we set up for him and he's already level 9. Download Heyday now using the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. There is always something happening in the game and you can now play an Oktoberfest themed event for a limited period of time. Download now and have fun! <laughs> okay, after playing it's time to clean. Look at this! Oh man! It's a lot of trashes! <laughs> Alright! But now let's get to the story. I received a cleaning request from Sweden in my email. The sender's name was Grace and the message said Hello, my name is Grace and I'm in desperate need of help with cleaning my apartment. I have been on a long work trip and left my apartment in the hands of someone I thought I could trust to look after my home. I was wrong. When I got back, my apartment was filthy to say the least. I'm not in a good place right now to do the fact I lost my mother not so long ago, which was a painful experience. So I have gotten overwhelmed with grief and then the fact my home is in a very bad state. I will add pictures so you can see how bad it is. It's not one room, it's the whole apartment. I don't know where to start. As of now, I don't stay in my apartment because of the state it is in. I can't move around in it. I haven't even told anyone about this because I'm ashamed about it. I get severe anxiety just thinking about it. 
The pictures are from the hallway and bedroom. The rest is almost as bad. I hope you can help me. Let me know. Thank you in advance. I hope I will hear back from you soon. The attached photos looked good. But in real life the apartment looked even better. Then I reached out to my sponsor Cine Cleaning to ask if they'd be willing to help the Swedish girl and they were more than willing. I love them! <laughs> then I immediately started planning the trip. Cine Cleaning promised to cover all expenses. Aren't they amazing? So I booked flights and reserved three days for cleaning. Since I wasn't entirely sure how long it would take. Because usually I spend a couple of days cleaning, but this apartment seems to have quite a bit of clutter and there were many rooms to clean. Next, I found out who could join me on this cleaning journey and Amos agreed to come along. Afterward, I started researching hotels in nearby the home. By the way guys, let me show you how I made this kitchen spray. You just use tap water and then you add this tablet there. So the bottle is reusable. You only need the tablets after it. And then you wait for 30 minutes and now it's ready to use. It's amazing. So you don't need to carry bottles of cleaning products home. You just need a tablet and a bottle. This kitchen spray has a refreshing lemon scent. Look how the other side shines. Love it. But yeah, I was talking about hotels. So I always choose the hotel closest to the cleaning location. I'm not interested in fancy or high quality hotels. I don't care. <laughs> I always go for the nearest one with a bed. That's, that's enough for me. Because I'm only there for sleeping. Uh, I just want to clean so I'm not spending time in my hotel. So I don't care at all. What is it? <laughs> But yeah, and of course, after that, I arranged for a rental car. The car must be big enough so all my cleaning supplies can fit there. I typically bring along two large suitcases with cleaning stuff, of course my own belongings, and a ski bag containing tripods, Floor squeegee, flat mop, everything like big or long or tall. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I can't bring any cleaning products such as dish soap or chlorine or anything like that on the plane. Except Cine's tablets. Those are fine, but anything else I can bring. So the first thing we came to Sweden, we went to buy some cleaning products. I bought like dish soap, chlorine, some drain opener and hmm, maybe that's it. <laughs> no, um, acid-based toilet bowl cleaner, yes. We also bought some snacks. Usually I have nuts and like tuna as a snack while cleaning. Often I also order food to the apartment and have lunch and dinner in the stairwell. <laughs> I'm used to eating just about anywhere. I don't I don't really care. And food on cleaning days it's like feel to me. Even though I can't eat wheat or dairy, so it's a bit limiting, but other than that, I can go with everything. Usually I eat some salad or pocket pole or something, something like that. 
But after shopping, we went to the hotel. The hotel was really nice and comfy. Then we met the resident, Grace. She came out to the country yard to bring the key and we chatted a bit. Um, I asked her what she does for a living, but Grace said she does quote-unquote a bit of everything. Hmm. I understand that not everyone wants to share their personal information with me, and that's perfectly fine. Grace mentioned that the apartment might be dirtier than the picture showed, and I told her that was okay too. <laughs> Then I ask more about her friends and what has happened here and Grace said that they are no longer friends. Well, obviously. I said that that's a good thing and good thing that she asked for help. Then she left. It was a nice meeting and... When we came here, like I said, I was jumping around because this apartment was better than I expected. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to wash all the dishes, so we are putting all the dirty dishes into these cardboard boxes. Ooh, what is this gunk? <laughs> I don't know. This trash cabinet needs proper cleaning. Of course, I always try to do my best, but sometimes there's just enough time to do everything. Oh, she has tried to recycle. There was some tuna and paper bags. So if there were dishwasher, I would definitely wash all the dishes. But now when there is not, I can't. And I don't think all the dishes will fit into these cabinets, don't know, but like, I feel like residents always can wash their own dishes. Oh, it's the, like, it's the easiest task to do. So it's more easy to wash dishes than wash this uh, trash cabinet. If you know what I mean, I try to do all the hard things first and left all the easy things left if there is something that I can do. By the way, the part two is coming next week and there's the best bedroom cleaning I've ever done. So please subscribe to my channel so you will see the video next week. It's amazing. <laughs> I just love washing white tiles because you can easily scrape off any type of dirt there and they become so shiny and clear. Here I'm using Sini's new cleaning stone and it doesn't include any clay so it's safe to use almost any surface. They launched this new cleaning stone and it's amazing! Oh, look how much gunk and goo there is. I have to scrape everything off, but it, it comes off quite easily, so let's continue. First, I'm spreading the kitchen spray everywhere, then I just scrape everything off and then I rinse. Tiddy! So white and nice. So guys, if you want your sink or stainless steel to shine, first clean it with dish soap or bleach. Bleach get rid of all the coffee oil stains. And then scrub it with a cleaning stone. The best cleaning stones that I have used are Power Paste, Sinis Cleaning Stone and have you tried the new Scrub Daddy Tangerine Paste? It's amazing! Tangerine paste smells lovely. It's, it smells so good! And I just love that these companies are making more and more cleaning stones because cleaning stones are eco-friendly, 
they don't harm any surfaces and they are easy to use. So if you haven't tried one yet, this is your sign to try it immediately. <laughs> if you have any type of a hard stain in your home and you don't know how to get rid of that, try cleaning stone. Like I said, there's no washing machine, so I have to wash these by hand. But look, look, guys, this is something sticky, but Cine Scraper, mmm, she enjoys it. Like I do, Diddy. But hey, in the meantime, while I'm washing these shelves by hand, the cleaning product is working inside the fridge, allowing it to soften all the food stains. <laughs> Afterwards, I quickly brush it again and then wipe it clean and then I put the shelves back in place. And ta-da! The fridge is now clean and it doesn't smell. That's a good thing. Time to put everything back. There are some food products which were quite okay, I think. <laughs> so I'm just putting them back. And then time to wash the door. Let's make it real quick. Ta da! I. Oops! I broke it. Oops, oops, oops. Ah, <laughs> uh, basic me. Mm, I also wanted to clean the sides and the back of the oven since there was still a bit of time left. Do you remember to clean behind your stove and fridge? People are often scared in the thinking that neglecting to clean under and behind appliances is a big deal. But it's not that serious, no worries. Nothing bad happens if you forget or you don't just feel like cleaning there. I probably haven't cleaned behind my own fridge either. And I'm still alive. <laughs> Okay, now it's clean. Let's put it back and clean the glass, which I broke. I'm just going to unscrew it, open it, and then some kitchen spray, scraping, also doing the same thing in between, and then putting it back. But then I realized it was harder than I thought. I don't know why it was so hard to get it back, so Amos came to help me. Okay, still a few minutes time, so Amos is doing the dishes with Cine's new dish spray. It's a great spray. Just it works like a kitchen spray with tablets and you can wash your dishes with it. I love it. Ooh, well, 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 what we have in here? A lot of grease, so that's why I'm spraying some oven cleaner and I'm brushing it with detail brush. This was one of my favorite things to clean here. I don't know, it was so greasy and the oven cleaner worked so well and mmm. So, just pure satisfaction, guys. Sometimes people complain that the cabinets and drawers aren't dirty on the outside. And often that's the case. Hmm. Here, uh, well, these are dirty, but the upper cabinets aren't. So the surfaces haven't gotten excessively dirty. I feel like because if the house owner or the resident orders a lot of like food, then if there's n nobody doing the cooking, then these drawers and cabinets are quite clean. Woo 
Woohoo! Time to clean the floor. This floor is quite easy to clean. I feel like it's not uh, made of plastic. I don't know what it's called. Let me check. It's called line linoleum. <laughs> Did I pronounce it right? Linoleum? Maybe. <laughs> As a professional cleaner, you need to know about various surface materials and suitable cleaning agents. Actually, the most important thing is knowing the type of dirt and surface to choose the right cleaning agent, tool, method and time. Unfortunately, linoleum can easily stain if it comes into contact with uh, products that are too alkaline, such as oven cleaner or chlorine, for example. And it also absorbs other stains easily. As you can see, the floor is like damaged there. However, you can prevent this by waxing the floor. But I feel like I'm going to bring a rock here, so that makes the floor much nicer. Hey, here's a Swedish TikToker called Ida. Ida works with Cine as well. And I believe her TikTok name is Clean With Me Ida. <laughs> yes, she has posted some TikToks from this cleaning, so watch them if you want. Amos and Ida take care of this living room. It's filled with trashes and stuff. I think most of it is. I don't know. I don't know. I feel. Uh, when I'm look at it, I believe it's trash. Most of 80% is trash. No, 70% is trash. <laughs> and the rest of it is just stuff. But like, one thing I'm wondering that Grace didn't say anything about the stuff like is this her stuff or her friend's stuff or I don't know but we are saving everything because I can't decide what is trash and what is not yes yes there is <laughs> I feel like this room is super quick to clean and I would want to see when Amos reorganized that bookshelf behind this. That would be fun because he has said to me that he's not an organizer or person. He doesn't care, but he's here and I can make him do whatever I want. <laughs> yes. Okay, first let's clean this table. Oh, this is satisfying. So satisfying. Some kitchen cleaner, some dish brush, some scraper, and some wiping. Enjoy, because this is satisfying. Okay, uh, guys, I found some dust. I was hoping to find some more, but this will do. Mmm. Nice. Nice. 
Ah, uh, I'm satisfied. Guys, I don't know what has happened for this floor. Because look, under the table it's like burnt. I don't know, like, oh, there's some light in front of it, but maybe you can see it. It's so weird. Like, has somebody smoked here? Or set a fire? Or what has happened? I don't know. <laughs> but it's good that the whole apartment didn't burn down. And hey, don't forget to download Heyday now using the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen and have fun! <laughs> you guys ready to see before and after pictures? After we have finished with this floor. Yes, it's made of wood and no, you shouldn't wash your floor like this. And Amos was like, how, why, why are we doing this? And I said that like there's so much stains, so many stains that we can't get rid of them without doing this. So, and I'm super quick washer, so it won't damage the floor more than it's damaged already. We also bought a new rug for here and Cine paid for this as well, of course. <laughs> so nice. I love that they give me free hands to buy. If the house owners or residents need anything, I can buy it. Hmm. Okay, here comes the before and after pictures and they are amazing. Like I said, next week is coming part two. And then I can tell you what Grace said after the cleaning when we texted. <laughs> See you guys next week. Because now we are on our way to the hotel to sleep, to get some rest. And next week you will see how we transform the dirtiest bedroom ever. See you guys, love you, bye bye! <laughs>